at the beginning of the school year in fifth grade. My daughter, when she was 10, her teacher emailed me and he was using a, a different name. And I actually thought that he had the wrong parent, but I went to her room and I saw that she had written this name on her dresser. And she actually said, they, them too. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. Do you have a new nickname? And she was like, yeah. I didn't really think that much of that at the time. Fast forward a few months into the year, I get a call from the school counselor and she says that my daughter used the words with a friend, suicide and cutting. And she kind of sold to me the idea of using this special therapist that was contracted with the school. Because she was under 13, I had to come in and talk to this therapist and give her written permission. At 13, I might not have even known that she was seeing this therapist. So at 13 in our state, children can get their own mental health without a parent's consent or knowledge. In addition, they can also get medical health without their parent's consent or knowledge. And a parent will be billed by the insurance without an explanation of benefits. My daughter saw her for two and a half months, a half hour session every week. And during this whole entire time, I'm asking her, what's going on with my daughter? She would say things like, how are things going at home? And I was like, you know, they're, they're fine. So I just figured that nothing big had come up. So she calls me right before the pandemic hit and she's using male pronouns for my daughter. And she's calling me to let me know that we're gonna have this meeting where she's gonna help our daughter come out to us as a boy. She's giving me three days to process that. The big thing that actually that the therapist wanted to talk to us about and had to get permission from us for was that my daughter wanted to stay in the boys cabin at the overnight camp. We were never gonna let her do that. I mean, I don't care who she thinks she is. There's so many reasons not to put a girl in a cabin with a bunch of boys and a male adult teacher. So many safeguarding fails. The school had to ask us because she was under 13. So again, at 13 in our state, they could have done that and we wouldn't have even known. They don't allow the parents to even know about it, you know, let alone stop it. I have since talked to my daughter about this because we're a couple years away from it now. We've discussed a lot of things. I asked her, whose idea was it for you to go into the boys' cabin? She said, that wasn't my idea. That was the school's idea. She said, my teacher asked me. And I was like, you're kidding me. Her male teacher asked her if she wanted to be in the boys' cabin. And I remember actually after all this happened, she said, you know what, Mama, I, I actually don't even want to go to the fifth grade camp. And I was like, that's just fine with me. Now I realize she didn't want to go because the teacher asking her that put her in a very strange position. He put her in a corner. She had already identified and said she was a boy. So what is she supposed to say? She's like, oh, I guess I have to say yes, right? So she did, she felt like she had to say yes. She was 11 years old. You don't ask a child questions like that. 